G'day, I'm Bo from Polyair Springs. We're here at Polyair headquarters in Sydney today and we're going to do a short demonstration of an install on a new current D-Max, uh, which will represent the same fitting for a current or RG Colorado as well. So we've got a new bolt-on no-drill kit to show you today. We've got one here in the box ready to rock and roll. We're going to do the video, we're going to show you what's in there. Uh, let's get started. So we've got our um, polyair instructions, some paraphernalia stickers about minimum pressures and whatnot, our airline, our bolts, our air elbows, air fitting elbows, very important, our air bags. So we've got our bottom brackets as well, and our bolt on top bracket. Okay, this is a new three piece bracket. Basically, we'll, we'll just undo little bits and pieces We'll nip it up over the chassis rail, we'll trim it back up again. We'll later in the piece you'll see it nip it all up when it's ready to sit in place. So pretty neat setup. Once again, absolutely no drilling required to fit this kit. Okay, so as much as we've got the luxury here at Polyair of having been able to use this hoist here today. Uh, these kits are quite able to be fitted in the garage at home or the driveway providing you are on a flat ground and have the correct safety equipment. So as you can see we've lifted the back of the car up here, we've got the stands in place, the load of the vehicle has been taken by the stands. We're also, we've got one, two chocks in place in the front also to stop the vehicle from rolling forward. So as much as we can get under there now and have a play, the car's not going to go anywhere, we're nice and safe, we're ready to start work. All right, so we've got the car secured, stands under, chocks in place, we're ready to rock and roll. We've got the bags, we've got the bottom bracket, so the first step is we're going to get the bottom bracket, we're going to mount it onto the top of the bag, then we're going to invert it and get it ready to sit in there. So first step, as I said, we've got our bolts and bits and pieces. Okay, so now we've got our upper bracket. As I said, it's a bolt-on kit, it's in three pieces. It's got two bolts at the bottom, one bolt at the top. So I've taken the top bolt out. It comes assembled, but I've taken the top bolt out. What we're going to do is we're just going to slide this up over the top, like so. I'm just going to rest that there. And we've got what we call a crush tube. It goes in the top as well. So that just slides through. like so. We'll just go through and then we just put the nuts and the, the nut and the washer on the back of it. Okay, so now we're just gonna screw in the uh, metal elbow for the air fitting or air line and just nip that up. It's very important that you just do a little bit by hand. We use a half inch open-ended spanner and we only do a maximum of two full turns. You arguably won't need that much, it'll get too tight, but no more than that so we don't wreck the thread. The best thing about these particular um, elbows as well is the head on them swivels. So we can tighten them up and then just move the head of the elbow to wherever we want it to be. Okay, so we'll finalise its position later in the install. Okay, so next step is we need to loosen off the four nuts that hold these U-bolts in place. So we can A, remove the bump stop, and then B, we want to slide this particular section in underneath these U-bolt arms, okay? So we need a 19mm socket and you can do it with a ratchet handle or a rattle gun if you have access to one. However, in this case, we're gonna show you doing it by hand and we just do them reasonably nice and evenly. Okay, so now we've loosened off the U-bolts and if I slide that over, that up, U-bolt out. Then the next step is literally we're just going to sit this into position. So it's a matter of just lifting the base up here, sliding the U-bolt in over the top, and then getting that one in there as well. Okay, so we've got the bottom bracket in underneath the U-bolt. So the next step is just to bridge this gap here where my finger is. So it's just a matter of lifting it up now. Just so I can now sneak that bracket over. 
and get the top bolts in to hold the bracket on. Okay, so now we've lifted up the bag. I've slipped the bolts into place. It's just a matter of doing them finger tight. Okay, so now we've got these top bolts nipped up by hand. We're just gonna get our open-ended 9 16 and I'm gonna tighten the rest of those up because we've got the bag lined up. It's all sitting nicely where it should be. So we're gonna do the top bolts. Then we're gonna go back underneath the U-bolts here and we're gonna do up the 19 mil nuts again. Once that's done, we're gonna nip up the bolts under here to the lower bracket. And then after that, we'll probably be in a position to uh, nip the top bracket up towards the chassis. Okay, so now we've got the top bolts done up, the U-bolt nuts done up at the bottom of the leaf pack. We've got the bottom bolt underneath the bracket bolted up as well. Everything's nice and tight. The next one is to bolt up here. I just need to take up the gap again from up hard onto the chassis rail. So we're just gonna pump it up. And now we're gonna do that top bracket up. Okay, so now we've completed steps one through 12 in the instructions on the left-hand side of the vehicle. So you would repeat that again on the right-hand side of the vehicle. Doesn't matter what order you do it in, whether it be left or right to start with, has no effect on the outcome of the installation. So you would go ahead now and do the other side of the car and then we're gonna move on to the airlines. Okay, so we've completed the right-hand side of the vehicle now and we're ready to do the airlines. So we've decided in this car that we're gonna run both airlines up in the corner on the left hand side corner of the number plate so we're going to run them both out together nice and neat so we've just taped up where we want to do it we've marked a crosshair where we want the lines uh, where we want the holes to be we need a 5 16th drill bit and we're going to get here and we're going to whack a couple of holes in there so we can run these lines in okay so when we first un undo the airline out of the packaging it comes in one big loop so it says to cut the airline in half and then run it out where you've chosen for it to go, making sure that you're leaving yourself enough slack and whatnot to allow for movement of the vehicle being articulation up and down. So what we do after that is we'll cut it to size and show how to install the line into the air fitting. Okay, so we've marked the airline where I want to cut it. I've actually got a tube cutter here which cuts a really nice flat cut. So we sit it in there and click, snap it off. We've got a perfectly square cut. The other way of doing that, if you don't have a tube cutter, would be to use a Stanley knife or a razor blade, literally on a flat surface. It's crucial to get it nice, clean cut, so it can seal into the push connect fitting nicely, otherwise you may run into leaking airbags. Okay, so we've cut the airline, and we're gonna push it into the push connect fitting, like so. Click. It is exactly that, a push to connect fitting, you push it in, and then you can't pull it back out again. Okay, so we've got the two airlines come out through the bumper like we drilled the holes for before. We've um, set all the washers and the nuts and stuff up as per figure three in the instruction manual. So we're just going to put the airline on now. I'm going to pump these bags up to 60 psi just to check for any leaks and whatnot and um, go from there. So there you have it, that's the finished product. Tested up to 60 PSI, no leaks as such. However, it's always a good thing to check over the first 24 hours. If you notice that it's dropped more than about seven pound, probably just double check for leaks. Other than that, keep a constant uh, amount of pressure in the bag, minimum of five PSI, maximum of 100, but it's basically trim the bag to suit the load. There you go, enjoy your polyairs.